But as it says on my computer screen, we are preparing to go live on Facebook, and now we are live streaming. And this is Monday Midday Meditation for Monday, November 14th. And wow, November wow. is just flying by, as New well as some New of the November stuff is, outside. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is November. Yeah. It's, you know, growth is happening exponentially. Exponentially. And I was talking to Sandra earlier today, and a lot of the stuff that we visualize from days gone by to this present moment have already materialized. And why is that? We held in our hearts and we held in our minds that we would collect a like mind and divine mind. And it is it is so. We were actually looking at youth and I was praising Sandra for youth in the classroom. And it's not really a classroom, it's a youth community. That's yeah. great. Yeah, they're all but over. <laughs> yeah, they were all over. We were having Running up and down they, the halls. And... and they look so joy-filled. Yes. yes. And, yeah. when they, and when they came into the end, you know, I get the pleasure of watching on Zoom when I can and when there's room, so to speak, I join. And when they came into the room during the prayer circle, the circle lit up. Did you see that? Yes. It started with one smile and it worked its way around to the other side. Yeah. Just kind of as the camera swooped, so did that smile. And it stemmed from connecting that little bitty energy to spark it on one side. So you got that firework effect that was encompassing of everyone. And it, it showed up in everybody's eyes. And um, in everybody's face. And I wanted to say thank you for that because that's what you go to a, I want to say a celebration service about. It's joining a community. Yes. And it it's took, really hard. Go ahead. They took some postcards they found because they couldn't find any plain paper. We, I was looking around for stuff. I was not familiar with the room yet. And made me, they made me angels and gave them to me. <laughs> Uh, so, so you, so Sandra, you're now surrounded by angels. I love the right. angels when I was in yeah. the youth and family rooms. And I know we were calling it a youth center because right now it's a collective kind of one room. I want to say discussion group, and then they have activities. I'm sure you keep them very energized. We keep, we keep busy. And, we have talk. And they, they call yeah. and cut and play and talk, learning about and, them. And it was, it sparked, it sparked me inside. And I realized when I read today's daily word, I was telling Sandra earlier, it didn't quite jive with me. And I, th I think I told Reverend Donna the yeah. same thing. And the reason why is because sometimes you do let go and let God, and you've got your fingernails to the chalkboard because yeah. you're not there to enjoy what <laughs> evolved. You know what I mean? I think so, about you every time I go back there. <laughs> we all well, think you know, about and, you. <laughs> and 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 I think it's really heavy this time of year because during Veterans Day weekend we do a YFM camp over on uh, it, well, this is the CISPUS Learning Center, and it is part part of it that's magical is the Persoid meteor shower flies over. Oh. And if you have a clear and starry night, the way that you know that you're right underneath it is you lean back on those benches around that campfire mm. and look up. And sometimes it's the, the uh, ambers rising up that create that starlight effect. But if there's no ambers, like the year of, that we were allowed to come back, but we're told because of fire damages we just put battery powered lights in the fire pit oh, and wow. leaned back and and the persoid meter shower did shower us with all the beautiful amazing starlight to let you realize there's a bigger universe out there until you're willing to let go and really look you can't see it though you have to really relax and open up and just focus straight up and be. And magic appears. 
of course, you also have to plan it so it aligns with what time it says by the um, American Meteorology Society's <laughs> timings for that day so that it, the magic comes true. But we can all align ourselves into a place where magic can come true. So I believe today, Donna, Reverend Donna, our Minister of Miracles at Unity in the Olympics, is going to read the daily word. Now, even if it stirs something different, there's probably something inside it that is for you. And I had to, you know, read it a couple of times, you know, to discover that's true. Reverend Donna. Yes. Well, I'm just, uh, you know, kind of rapidly looking over this before I read it. And, you know, I, I got stopped by the very first paragraph <clears throat> because that uh, I'm spending a lot of time in this place of um, <laughs> <laughs> frustration and desperate and I cried out to God help me please <laughs> I've been uh, I've been doing that yes I love you too yes I love you too thank you hi Olivia now this is star this is star down here and that's your friend Sandra and there's Uncle Tim okay all right so today's word is let go and let God and interestingly enough, I was um, working on the email for the chaplains for this Wednesday, and um, the the word for the last time we had a chaplains meeting was "let go and let God." So it, it shows up about once a week. If you if once a week, once a once a month. If you kind of look at the agenda, the calendar, and see see what's coming up, <clears throat> but this one today, um, I I like very much, and I don't know what that bell is, but uh, oh, that's you. That's okay. <laughs> um, so the affirmation is turning within. I access my divine power. So turning within, and that's always, you know, that's always the key, whether we remember it or not. That's always the key is to take time to, to breathe and go to that place within that is peaceful. And, uh, well, we know that the peace is there. Uh, sometimes we just don't allow ourselves to feel it. But turning within, that's where I go and that's where I access my divine power. And I remember and I know that I am one, one with this one power and one presence in the universe, God, the good. The daily word reads, I remember times in my life when I was so frazzled from trying to work something out, so frustrated or so desperate, I cried out to God, help me, please, help me, please. Can you relate to that? <laughs> yes, yeah. But I never really, I never felt ever that God wouldn't help me. But it was just, it was a, a matter of me releasing and me re, me moving myself into that place where I could ask for help, which is not an easy thing for Donna to do. I felt comfortable in those moments as I realized I was not alone believing there was a power and a presence outside myself I could lean upon. And as I have grown spiritually, I have come to understand God as the one presence and one power in the universe and in my life. I do not appeal to an outside source. Now, I let go and let God by turning within and accessing my divine power. In prayer, I claim divine ideas and speak affirmations of acceptance and peace. I trust the wisdom of indwelling spirit to guide me to right outcomes. I trust the wisdom of indwelling spirit to guide me to right outcomes. 
And the Bible reading is from Job chapter 12, verse 13. With God are wisdom, with, with God are wisdom and strength. He has counsel and understanding. Wisdom and strength. You know, every once in a while I think about the 12 powers and I um, I was real tickled that B.A. talked about the 12 powers in his talk yesterday a little bit. He doesn't always do that, but that's that was fine. And wisdom that he talked about is, is very powerful, a very powerful um, power. It is that place of being able to, growing into being able to discern and make right decisions. Very powerful, very powerful. So, Miss Sandra, you, have, you are muted, Sandra. Ah, oh, and so with that message, Let's just take that in. Then let's just do a couple really deep cleansing breaths because we've all been so rushed lately trying to get things done. And I'm sure that's true for most of us. So breathe as deep as you can. And as you're breathing in, love, light, healing, whatever words you need to fill in, feel that going through your body, feeling the tight spots, relaxing and releasing that. And on the breath out, you're releasing all that you're holding, stress, tension, worry, concern, frustration. And you just feel that leaving you, letting go, letting go. So often we get caught up. We get so caught up in what we have to get done, our projects, the daily activities, that we forget we're even holding our breath sometimes. So that's the time we can stop, pause, breathe and release whatever is going on, whether we're sitting in the highway and there's a roadblock, oh, just release. It's divine timing. And whenever we're having some losses, grief, sadness, joy, anger, we can stop again, pause and say, let go, let God. Because we often forget that. He's, he's right there with us all the time. The presence of God is within us. And all we have to do is remind ourselves throughout the day. Breathing in and releasing and letting go. Oftentimes we find that when we do that, when we move slower, our projects seem to get done faster after all. Then and when we're rushing and hurrying to get it done, when people come into our lives, cross our paths and we're not sure how to handle the situation stop pause and breathe let go let god and each moment we do that it really does put us in that place of knowing that god is with us walking with us breathing with us experiencing with us and we truly need to do that just remember just stop and I can do that a dozen times a day. And I can still forget down the road. And that's a good way to remind ourselves throughout the day we catch ourselves rushing, hurrying, getting angry, whatever the mood is. Oh, let go. Breathe in love, breathe in healing, breathe in divine wisdom, divine intervention, and let go of the mess of the chaos and the worry. Because God is with us at all times. Our divine wisdom is with us at all times. Our divine knowing is with us at all times. And we don't have to do all this alone. So I just suggest fill in the gaps right now from A to Z of all the things that each of us are experiencing individually. Fill in. Breathe that in and release it. Breathe in the positive, loving energy holding you, embracing you, caring for you. 
and then just let go of all the stuff that we're hanging on to or just forgetting in the rush of things in the chaos and we can do that a lot and we can also stop a lot and pause and breathe and say thank you god thank you i forget you're with me and i know i can get through this but just stop breathe let go let god there's just so many things we're all experiencing in different ways grief loss sadness joy and even in joy we sometimes forget let go let god it's all in god's hands with us as us expressing through us as us oh what a relief to know we can let go and let god thank you god and so it is Amen. <sighs> God, I think you're me. Oh, there you go. There. <laughs> so you look. I'm still stopping. <laughs> what? I said, Star, you look happy out there. Yes, she does, doesn't she? I've been cleaning up branches and fallen limbs, and my backyard's almost done. Yay. <laughs> Yay. It, was pretty it looks like she's stopping to, to breathe and pause in the great yeah. outdoors. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And it looks like a bird outdoors. flew off the tree. I hope so. Well, They're supposed the to be bird trees. They must have been meditating with you, Sandra. Yeah. Hey, before we go, let's everybody sign off and say bye for now. And we'll bye, continue hey, on and we'll okay. let our Facebook friends go and we'll let our recording go. So, Reverend Donna, would you like to say goodbye? Goodbye, all. We'll see you next week. And Miss Blanchard, would you like to say goodbye? Goodbye. I'm glad you were here with us. Come back again. <laughs> and Ms. Pittman, would you like to say goodbye? Goodbye, all. That's our, uh, Have a right. wonderful day. Yes, little queen wave. <laughs> and uh, this is Tim oh. from wherever I am. On, on behalf of Unity in the Olympics saying bye for now. Hope to see you soon.